Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 13 of the Agrarian Skies series with Pahamar. Mr. Pahamar, how are you doing this evening? I'm excellent, how are you? I'm good, man. Hey, what are we doing with uh, all this rubber wood that we've got? Because it feels like there's a lot of it, and I don't think there's much we can do with it, is there? Aside from get jungle wood planks or charcoal. Yeah, I think we either turn it into jungle wood planks and we use that for our wood, because we're constantly getting uh, this stuff while we're get harvesting we're the it. rubber. Yeah. So it's probably best to use this wood for our uh, jungle wood because it's not good for the other wood, like um, like making barrels and such. You know what we could do with it, actually, is we can get a ball of glue, but, I mean, that's just, I think, or dictionary pretty much with um, slime. Yeah, we really but have no need for slime. Since we got you, that slime sap over there. So you say. Hey, we can just grow slime slap. <laughs> slime slaplings. Yeah. Totally. English. Hopefully. Words. Hey, so uh, I'm cooking stuff up over here. Um, so this episode, we updated, didn't we? Yes, we did. We are now on Agrarian Skies 212. Oh my. So guess what? There's new quests. So we thought we had a lot to do still. Now we have even more to do. Yeah. Not only that, there was actually a few more learning to Skyblock quests, but... In between this episode and, you know, last when we updated, I said, ah, oh, just three quick, easy quests. So I can just do those real quick. So there were very basic crafting quests. We just needed to craft a fluid duct. We needed to craft a steam dynamo. And we needed to craft a book binder, which is actually kind of neat looking. I don't know if you tried out the book binder. Oh, yeah. But it, you can it's actually, amazing. Yeah, it's cool. You can actually, like, open it up and place any books in there. And then when you right-click on the book, it opens as if you right-clicked it. Oh, so once we get title. like a Thalmanomicon and the other books that we're going to need, like the thing, like we could even throw the Tinker's books in there if we want to do. I guess, of course, it's a single point of failure. If you die, then you lose all your books in one shot. But eh, what are you going to do? But that's kind of a neat little trick. It is. I I'm like it. make one myself. So we have three quests to hand in. So I'm just going to start claiming rewards and you can do as well. Um... Because I don't think any of these really have a choose a reward type deal. So I have handed in all my learning to Skyblocks, and I've got basically one heart out of that. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Did you get a mob or something? No, I just crafted everything and then rolled back like an inch. So I got a basic and a good bag. Let's see, my basic has okay but not great reward of beef jerky. And my good bag has a useful reward of blackberry, corn, and lettuce seeds. I have an okay That's but neat. not great reward of all the music discs, a radio, and a note block. Right. And a monster jerky. Hmm. So that didn't really get us much. But we got two more lives on, in addition to our existing 27. Yeah. What's up? Um, so I think what I'd like to do is, uh, do a little bit of infrastructure today. I know you weren't actually interested in, um, how you automate, like, machines like this. Indeed. I have no so, idea how to get AE hooked up to these things. It's actually not too tricky. Let me demonstrate for you, sir. I'm actually going to get a couple things to do it. So, the first step, if you come downstairs with me... Coming. So tell me if when I'm interacting with this pattern code over here, if you can see me doing things. Yep, I can see you doing things. So you just made a sticks recipe or pattern, yep. I should say. So typically when you put in items in here, it's going to automatically determine the output for you as if you were doing it with like a regular crafting window. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, but if you put in an item that doesn't normally go into a crafting window, like the basic processor assembly, which needs to be smelted, mm -hmm. um, it won't know what to do. So you actually have to get the item and place it into the output. So we're basically telling this that given a basic processor assembly, when it goes into whatever machine we hook this into, you'll get an ME basic processor assembly out at some point. Cool. Cool. So you can grab that guy. And also, if you place it into the ME molecular assembly chamber, you'll see how it has that red background. Yep. That's telling you that it did not detect that as a valid craftable recipe, so it really probably doesn't belong in there. Okay, so how do we fix that? So pull it out and bring it with me. 
Man, I love elevators. Yeah, they're the best. So this particular block we want to smelt. So let's put it in this redstone furnace right here. Cool. So like thermal expansion, the top part needs to be blue or whatever the input is needs to be blue. So that's important. So we'll, um, what you do is you put an ME interface on top. Okay. And you see how there's that processing line on the bottom? That's where the pattern goes. Ah. Cool. And you can also right click with a wrench and specify what direction it goes into. It'll place it into the nearest available inventory, but it's always a good idea to do that because we'll probably wind up with something like interfaces along the line here. And so while we I need don't... two interfaces per block then, one for input and one for output? Uh, you could do that, or what you could use is the um, ME import bus, those guys. Ah. Uh. And what they do, and I'm going to actually have you stick it behind on the back there. I did it wrong. Yeah. I did it wrong. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. There you go. Uh, what those guys do is basically they import into the AE system. So they'll, if you put that on a chest, it would basically pull everything out of the chest and into the AE system. Cool? Cool. So if you come over here, go ahead and request. Um, Don't we have to, actually, have to hook this up to the network? Yes. So we'll do that. We can just probably hook it up. What I'm thinking is we're going to eventually have everything come over here anyway. So let's just do, I guess we'll just do this and then later we'll adjust it correctly. So you should be able to request a basic processor. And when you do that, it'll auto craft the unsmelted version. And then you'll see that the redstone furnace is running now. Perfect. Cool. And then it'll get imported into the network and then your basic processor right there. Very nice. So now we need to do one for the advanced processor too. Yes. Um, and we'll want to do ones for all kinds of stuff. Like we'll want to teach it how to make another quartz dust. Uh, because one of the things we're going to want to craft a lot of is these ME cables, which needs the Fluix dust. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to put it on top of the pulverizer. Here, I'll give you this and teach it how to back. make another quartz dust. What's that? I'm giving you the import bus back. Oh, cool. Yes, I'll need those. So this guy was only temporary. I'm going to put this here. Rotate that guy downwards. And uh, what we'll have here is the ME import bus. Just going to make this guy orange on the back. Pulverizer, import bus. There we go. So that's that. So now um, all I have to do is jump down here. And fall to your death. Yeah, not this time, buddy. You don't have to be mining out a block under me, do you? Hey, I'm pretty sure that's one of the funniest bits of footage you've had in a while. <laughs> it might be. It might be. In addition to our um, epic Enderman battle. Oh, wow, you made a lot of fluid stuff in advance. Oh, yeah. Anyway, now I can craft nether quartz dust, and you'll see that it went ahead and made it. Very nice. Yeah. So that's it, and you can do that with any machine, because basically you're saying this item goes in, and this item will come out. So the, the real trick is to make sure that you put the import bus or whatever on the back so that it actually does pull the item out. Otherwise, the A system would be like, hey, where's that item? I'm waiting for it. It never came. Cool. Cool. Teach this guy how to make Fluix dust? Not yet. So, ME cable. I should teach it how to make. I'm going to teach it how to make Fluix dust, which is this, which it should be able to make everything for, and glass. I'm going to teach it how to make glass real quick. Well, maybe I won't make him teach a glass right now. I'll teach a glass later. But that's basically the gist. Um, we can do all kinds of nifty tricks with stuff to get it to auto-craft other things as well. So let's see. We've got another redstone furnace here. We've got an induction smelter. I'll probably want to teach it how to do stuff with the induction smelter and with the magma crucible. And I'll probably eventually also want the fluid transposer to be doing stuff for us. Geez, so many music discs. I know, right?
just like to watch the auto crafting to make sure everything's working properly. Ah, we're missing glass. See, I knew I was needing yeah, to Yeah, we should teach it how to make glass. That'd be awesome. Hey, we've got a backlog somewhere. What's going on here? Oh, there's a there's a lever missing here. Oh. Yeah, underneath the gold chest, there's a lever missing. I took Straight those away and added a pneumatic servo to the item duct. The one on the bottom too? Oh, I didn't see the one on the bottom. I'll make. Yeah, one, one uh, output isn't enough to keep up with the amount of items we're getting. We need two. So maybe it is a good time to teach this thing how to make sand and into yeah. glass. Yeah. Do we have a ton of sand somewhere? Oh, we oh you should. know what we do? We, we have it in this barrel up here. All right, so let me get a little infrastructure in place, guys. Pahamar, do you want to be back in a minute after we've got some stuff set up? And then what are we doing this episode? Basically a lot of infrastructure and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm thinking about expanding our farms out a bit as well as getting some mob uh, spawners going. And then cool. I think we really should get some tesseracts and kind of collate a bunch of our um, collection of things. I got you. Well, I can work on automating the creation of tesseracts. That would be pretty awesome. And what I also want to do is make a bunch of storage buses and start hooking up all this stuff um, to storage buses. All these barrels and everything that we've got going yeah, on here. I think we yeah, want a I central think. inventory room. Yeah. Well, do you want to move these barrels to a central inventory room, or are they good where they are? I think let's move them. Like, let's actually have yeah. a you know a storeroom. I think uh, let's make it pretty. All right. Well, I'm putting you in charge of that. You make oh. it pretty. I'll I'll make it work. You make it pretty. How's that sound? That sounds like a normal Direwolf 20 and everyone else relationship. Thank you, Soren. I mean, bottom line. Oh! oh. Soren's over there. Asked for it. All right, let's be back. We'll be back. Mr. Pahamar, guess what I made? What did you make? Automated tesseracts. Nice. Yeah, man, we can automatically tesseract things now. It's going to be awesome. That's good, because we have a lot of automation to do. Have you seen some of the quests we've had to do? I didn't realize how many have updated. Yeah, there's a lot of updated quests. Like, if we look through the book here, there's an entirely new quest line I saw that's called Steel Power, and I have no idea what that's involved with, because I believe steelworking isn't part of regular Tinkers. I think it's one of the Tinkers add-ons, so yeah. I'm not really sure what's involved there. So I have no idea what those items are all about. And then I saw that there were some new quests in For the Hoarding. I know. Like, we weren't having to hoard enough things. And what's, what's funny is I actually did this. Um, digital storage requests all the ME auto crafter components, one of each. But, like, it didn't recognize that I had crafted them already, so I had to go craft one of each of these. But we can claim a reward now if you want. Let's do it. Hooray! So we get another life. And we got, actually, uh, four ME interfaces, which is kind of nice. There we go. It was just a I got a greater bag as well. Yeah, me too. Look at that. And I also got a golden heart. I'll take that. I guess I need to... That's an accessory. That should go... Oh, I see. I got more right jerky. Here. Hooray, I got a golden heart. You got an extra golden heart? Well, I got one. Oh, I thought you... What was in your um, bag? What is this thing? It's... Mecha Pahimar? Yeah, it's, it's me as a robot. It's much better than fake Pahimar. It's a little better than Fake Bahamar. What happened to Fake Bahamar? Fake Bahamar morphed into Mecha Bahamar. I see. Okay, then. I'm going to look at <laughs> my reward bag. Hey, I got a nice reward. Wow. What'd I you got get? a 0.93 chance to get this reward. I got a bunch of hives. A bunch of bee hives. That is very yeah, nice. Yeah, like a lot of good ones. I think it's all the world gen ones for the most part. That's good, because one of the hoarding quests is bees. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Don't oh, no, I that's in the that's um, bragging rates. Yeah, there's a whole other... So we have steel, and now we have this bragging rights one, too. Where we have to make things from different uh, mods. So we have to make, like, all the things from Thermal Expansion again, a bunch of vanilla stuff, and, yeah, uh, 100,000 forest drones. 100,000 forest drones? 100,000 forest drones. Are we going to do bragging rights? That sounds like a terrible thing to do. I think we have to do almost all these quests. We have to do bragging rights? I think so. Because it's bra for bragging rights. 
I guess. We can always ask Jamie. Oh, hey, look, though. We get a sign that says Bee Mastery. Well, that's good. I'm glad we got the sign. So, yeah. Hey, there's a McGory's quest. That's cool. Nice. Nice. She has the best Yeah, look at that. We have to make a bunch of vanilla stuff. I mean, that doesn't look terrible. Mine Factory Reload, it's not too bad. All right, so let's look at... Well, I'm going to check out... What did I want to go with? Um, also, I'm debating if we really want to bother with the whole concept of moving all these barrels into a storage room. Like, let's just throw everything into, like, a storage cell and be done with it. You think hey, so? Hey, there's a, there's a cat here. We got a cat? We got a cat. Where did the cat come from? Oh, my God, we do have a cat. And it, oh, oh, yeah, you built goes. a big old... Uh, a, a big area for for spawning, I guess, friendly animals. Yeah, but I guess yeah, this must be in a jungle biome. Be. Yep, it is. Yeah, so we're gonna get cats. Yeah. Nice. But the I reason I built it cat. is for this. For what? Check it out. Hey, there's a sheep. There's two sheep. There's two sheep. You can make nice. them with string and eggs, and because we're gonna need some dye if we want to make the breeders. Right. So I got thinking, why don't I dye some sheep? Okay, yeah, and you can get dye from the wool. Exactly. You can pulverize it. Alright, so uh, we got that quest hand in done. Um, there's a whole new section there. We haven't even started You're a Wizard, Steve, which is a Thalmcraft book and a Sacrificial Orb. So there's a few things that we're going to need to do here, um, clearly. There's Thalmcraft-y stuff, and then there's Blood Magic-y stuff. Um... I've just been kind of looking at for the hoarding. Like, it feels like some of these things we're going to want to set up now because it's just going to take a huge amount of time uh, to get that thing done, right? Like, some I of this stuff is just going to take forever. I don't know. I think what I'll do is teach this thing how to make storage units. So, first I want to teach it how to make storage cells. And then how to make 1K storages, just because I can. And then we're going to want to teach it how to make storage blocks, which require... Well, I guess I should go with the 4K ones first. So storage segments. And then 4Ks. If you do this methodically and correctly, you actually wind up pretty good. And then 16Ks. I... That oh man, I was I was really hoping on that. What's that? Uh, it just pulverized the wool into string. It didn't give me any dye. It's only a chance. Oh well, we have loads of cats. Um, so let's see, red dye, rose red, for example, pulverizer. Um, unless it's disabled. That would stink. I'd have to check the uh, config. Any yeah, eyes not working? It's not showing it at least. That would really stink. <laughs> that would really stink. I'm making a 16k storage drive, and I'm going to. I think what I'm going to do is tell it what to do. So let's let's try it and just see how well that works. I'm looking for the thing that does uh, partition editor. Yes, that's what I want. How's this thing coming along? Missing... Oh, I never taught how to make silicon. derp de -dur. Also need some more nether quartz dust in here. Oh, this is yep. terrible. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to check the fix. Okay, that idea's out for now. Oh? Yeah, I wonder if it's in the thermal expansion configs. I know it was something that they Could just be. added in. So, I mean, that's been in for a while, the ability to pulverize wool and get the dyes from it. Beats me. 
But we need that animal farm area there anyway, so it's a good thing you made it. Like, it's not it's not a bad thing that you made it. I might actually have to move it, because in that jungle biome, we're not going to get other passive mob spawns. Not at all? We're just going to get a ton of ocelots. Yeah. Yeah, you can move it and put it somewhere else. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. So let's see, is this thing ready? Almost, it's cooking. How about I'll come back when this thing's done cooking? Does that sound good, Pahamar? Sounds like a plan for me. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking, Pahamar. Nuts to the barrels and the storage chest thing. Let's just go, we've got the resources. So what I'm going to do is I've got this block here, the partition editor. Are you familiar with how this works? Yep. Yep. Alright, so basically what this is, is we're going to tell it that these are the items that are allowed to be stored on this disk. So I'm basically putting all the stuff that's common. Um that we get a lot of on the disk. Oh cool, you can shift click these things in here, that's nice. So I'm gonna put all of our um, blocks of metal and all the dusts and all that stuff that we normally get. Should I throw the mob drops in here or should we get a separate 16K for the mob drops? Let's do a separate one because they produce a lot. Okay. Let me check so what I'm gonna do is put this 16K in bones. here and then I'm also going to put all this stuff away. Yeah, we have... Um, Actually, cool. no, we don't have as much. Well, I'm going to make another 16k anyway. That's good. Um, That's good. And then what else I want to get? I want to get a... Where's that thingy? Um, there's a block here that's going to... I.O. port. Yeah, I'm going to want an I.O. port. What's the I.O. port do? Um, it makes it so that you can... Well, we're crafting a bunch of stuff right now, but that's okay. Uh, basically, it, it sets it up so that what you can do is... Ooh, we're low on Certus Quartz Dust. Should be a bunch that's of that sh and the barrel upstairs. Yes. If uh, folks watching mine are wondering what I'm doing is... I've sucked up all the mobs who were in here into reusable safari nets. Although I didn't take the horse, because we have no use for horses. Because we're going to be using them when a breeder, once I figure out how to get purple dye. Although, didn't we get jaded bees? Mm -mm. I should check that, because I think jaded bees actually produce purple dye. Yeah. I think I forgot to hit the format button on this, but that's okay. I formatted it now. Partitioned. Allowed precise. Cool. That's correct now. That's what I want to see. Um, matching mode precision. That's fine. So is this thing pretty much done with another 16k? Almost. The IO port basically lets you like strip the items out of what's already on the storage disks. So we'll take these storage disks that already exist and, you know, do whatever with them. Where's this IO port? I'm waiting. I need to craft it. Ah. But you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop that thing. Where am I headed to? Oh, yes, I was going to look for bees. Oh, well, there's tons of bees. You weren't kidding. Yeah. Resonating hives? Aren't those the ender ones? Hmm, I forget. Sounds about right. But I'm honestly not sure. Once we have all this infrastructure set up, man, this is gonna go, all, like, really smooth. Here it comes. All right, ready for the I.O. port? Coming down. So 
So if I set this up correctly, which is always like a risky thing to say, this thing should be connected now. So see how the 16K drive has nothing in it right now? Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of crafting recipes, but there's no actual items. So I'm going to take something like this 1K storage drive, and I'm going to transfer data to network. And what that should have done is moved everything that belongs in that drive into it. Yeah. So you can see now, like, this drive still has stuff in it. But it doesn't have anything that it shouldn't have in it. Very nice. Cool. So I'll do the same thing with this. So now it just dumped everything out into there. And I'll do the same thing with this, and it'll dump everything out there. So basically what we did is we just transferred all the disks that had stuff on them. Um, should be all cleaned up now. In fact, let me just make sure. Because one of them did something I didn't expect it to. 1024 bytes. Wow, what is stored on you? Huh. You know what I should do just to find out? Hey, you. What's she doing? I was trying to shift stuff into inventory, but it wouldn't let me. Because you got all the oh. drives. Right, I did. Yes. Just want to make sure that everything moved over correctly, so I'm going to make a quick ME drive just to test. It looks like it's pretty much right. Crafting stuff. We should set it up to keep a certain amount of items available at all times or something. I just want to see what's in this, like, 99 really full disk. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's pretty much everything that doesn't belong. I didn't have an actual thing for, like, the metals, which is fine. I didn't think I needed to partition the individual metals there, just the blocks, because that's what's going to be auto-crafted. And we'll auto-craft the, the, the metals from blocks, so that should be fine. I've already taught it gold and iron. I'll teach it the rest of the metals eventually, once we need them. Um, cool. So what I think I'd like to do now, Pahamar, is mm -hmm. modify some of the imports here. What I'll use, you ready to check this out? Let's get another, let's get that 16K brewing again. And then when this is done crafting, we'll be right back. And we can plug the mob spawner into this if you want, Pahamar. That would probably be a good thing. All right, let's do it. All right, Pahamar, I just formatted another disk uh, to allow some of the common mob drop items we've been getting. So that'll handle that. Cool. Four of 16 types is in. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to make sure these guys are all stripped of mob drop stuff as well. So let's do that, 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 and that. Now there should be. Okay, cool. What is this thing? What thing's that? The ME chest. The chest? Yeah, it's the ME chest. Man, you there make it go. hard to craft I guess it right just now. Took a moment. What's that? You make it hard to craft right now. I do. I apologize. Give me one sec. All right, you can have it again. I'm just making sure everything's nice and tidy. There we go, six of 63 types. That's what I expected to see, because I partitioned it with six different item types. Uh, so what I'm going to make now 
I'm going to get a precision import bus. And the dolly. Let's make it so. Hey, you pull stacks at a time. Nice. As a matter of fact, what I should be doing also is this. No, I mean, interfaces could be pre-configured. Okay. Uh, but basically... Well, I got some good news. Oh? I got a breeder. Oh, really? And I just realized I have no ducks to actually hook it up. Ah. But I bet you that you have those nicely partitioned in here somewhere, don't you? Uh, what now? Oh, good. They're still available. Yes. Uh, so let's see. What's the best way to hook this up? Just worried about all the bows and stuff we're going to get. Uh, shouldn't those get picked up? Oh, yeah, because you're hooking that up. Mm. Yeah. What I think I'm going to do... Let's... I'm going to turn off your redstone control on this thing so that we get a few of those items and then once we've got them we can blacklist them and we'll set them up to go directly to the trash can sounds That's good like a plan so i won't actually set this whole contraption up with the uh hooking it directly into that until we're ready to do that because i don't want to start collecting all that junk you know what i mean i know what you mean um but what i would like to do is uh set up the import for all the stuff we've got upstairs so that we can move all of our barrels that we currently have into the system. But what I'm going to need to do for that then is make a few more import buses, I think. I'm just going to craft a few more of these. So Breeder only takes energy and um, liquid essence? Uh, correct. correct. Yes. You mean the mobs, mob spawner? Oh, the breeder. To like breed oh, animals. Oh yeah, no, I picked, I made the wrong thing. Yeah, you want a mob spawner. Well, the breeder will help once we have it. Yes. That's a lot easier. Right. Breeder, I'm a well, dirt. breeder's all right. You have to give that basically wheat and stuff. So what I think I'm gonna do, Pahimar, is replace the whole transport items from things around underneath here into um, ME cabling and such. Does that sound cool? Sounds cool. Sounds cool. Oh, the breeder's not even one of the mine factory reloaded bracking rates thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, waste. Nice. See, this is All why right, I um, cannot shake Pi Noob. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just going to turn these guys all off so they don't start outputting stuff where they don't belong to. Because I basically want to pull items directly into the AE network now instead of pulling into these barrels. So that's actually going to be a bit of work. Maybe I should do this off camera, but basically guys, what I'm going to be doing here is um, connecting the import buses that I've made, which I'm probably going to have to make a few more of. That's why I started that crafting a moment ago under here like this. And then we can get some cabling running between them. And this cabling is eventually going to hook up to that. So we'll basically ME import into the casting basin um, and we'll just run like that. Cool. So I'll be back in a minute once I've um, moved all this stuff over. Oh, well, Mr. Direwolf. Yes, Mr. Bahamar. I have two things of note. Okay. One, it's wrap-up time.
Oh. Two. I may have found us a supply of leather. Would you like to see? Yes. Cows? Let's have a look at back. Oh, that's a lot of cows. I may have... You got so many cows. Oh, you made an auto spawner. Nice. Yep. I may have corrected my breeder problem. I have made us five auto spawners, because we are going to need to have quite a few of certain types of mobs, because we need a lot of milk, believe it or not. That's one of my quests. Okay. We're going to need a lot of, like, cheese and butter and stuff, which we're also going to need milk for. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we now have a pretty good supply of cows. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, I've been working on an AE system here. Um, basically, what I've been focusing on, and as a matter of fact, I probably clean up some of this cabling, but I'll do that later. Uh, I've hooked up the AE system. I've run it all the way across here. I'm going to be basically replacing a lot of the item ducts that we have underground here with AE cabling. And I've so far got some import buses going on. So I haven't changed the way items route into the smelters, but I have changed the way they get pulled out. So instead of them being pulled out into the row of barrels up here, I'm now pulling them out directly into the AE system. Um, what's next is I'm going to build some export buses, and I'm going to program those to push items into the smelters. And then instead of... Um, the items going into a chest up there and then getting routed through the item ducts. It's all going to happen with AE. So I'm going to do export buses into the smelteries and I'm going to do um, the rest of the items will just stay in the AE system, like the redstone and glowstone and all that other stuff we get. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, I just need to get some export buses and program those because they're going to just be a little bit of a nuisance for me. Um, not too bad, but I'm definitely going to want at least like five or six of those. I want them to be precision, so good. I still have some basic processors. That'll be good. But we do have to wrap up, like you said. So I'll probably... I think what I'm going to do is just kind of set that up between this episode and next, because it's mostly infrastructure, and it's pretty straightforward. And then next episode, maybe I'll come back and demo it all to you guys. Yeah, and I think uh, between this one and next, I'm going to clean up... Uh, I'm going to move all those cows into a proper spawning facility and start milking them. Cool. Sounds like fun, man. You know all there's right. a block from MFR that does milking, right? Yep. Yeah, I hear that's okay. a better way to do it. That's a good way to do it, but it has a cooldown. If you want an autonomous activator with buckets, it would probably be faster technically, but it's up to you. Let's see. Let's I see. need... Wow, I need a lot of milk. Yeah, we need a lot of a lot of things. 16 million millibuckets worth of milk. That's a lot of milk. Yeah, and then oh, yeah, I that's... should probably hook up some other things because I need fluid protein uh, there's a there's a compost related one uh, I should get some bees going because there's a sticky situation one where we need honey mm, so, and I need to get yeah. some bees yeah I have a lot of liquid do you want to do bees do. or do you want me to do bees no I'll do bees you sure yeah I should learn, yeah, I should learn. I'm, I'm pretty good at them I don't mind saying <laughs> no it's it's alright we'll be good yeah Okay, you're the boss. All right. So this is Palmar signing off for Direwolf20 and myself. Take it easy, cool. guys. Take it easy, buddy.